Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you like the content, hit the subscribe button. Leave a like down below. Now, I briefly touched on the Creator Wrestler before, but I really want to dig deep into this because there's a lot of options in here that I didn't go through, and I want to show you how everything works. So this is a deep dive Creator Wrestler video. It might be a little long. Uh, we'll play it by ear. Anyway, so I got my base character here. I'm going to try to make a version of Streiser. If you've seen my character on the main page and, and basically the whole channel is named after him because this video this channel is going to be something different but it kind of evolved into what it is anyway so we're going to try to make Streiser I already made uh, Lady Streiser basically my Streiser so we'll have a match with them afterwards so keep an eye out for that video but for this video I just want to go deep dive in here so the way this works is you have your body and that's how you adjust all your like how you want to look physically then you got your skin color and you can also add uh, prints to yourself. So let's say you want to add, oh, and change your eye color. So let's say you want to add like a, a tattoo. So you go in here, and this thing, it took me a minute to figure this out. Okay, so when you first go, first get to this, go to the very top, this little icon right here. In fact, well, no, I'll leave myself. I was going to move my, where I'm at on the camera here. I had to switch sides because of my new setup. Anyway, so you go to this. And here's all the current little tattoos slash stickers or stamps, they call them, that you can put on yourself. And you can adjust the size, you can combine them. I haven't reached a layer limit yet, so we'll get to that point when we when you do. So just to show you how this works, let me pick one here, anyone. Let's just pick this, this star real quick. And for some reason, it always starts on your nuts. <laughs> but, so you go down here, you go to position, you pick that, and you can move it anywhere. And it looks like it has like blocked off areas for tattoos and stuff. Probably for reasons. Anyway, so if you notice, if you turn the camera, it kind of like just goes anywhere. So if you don't want it to move away from when you move the camera, let's say you want it to stay right, let's say right there, and you don't want it to move. You go up to stay, you turn that on, and you go back down positioning, now you can get the angle. You can't remove it anymore because that's where it's locked in. But you can increase its size. You can't rotate it either. Oh wait, you can rotate it. Okay, cool. So like I said, once you get the position you want, like the perfect position, go go back or hit accept, and then make sure you toggle this on so that you can go in and really tweak it. So what's really cool about this though? Let's, let's me let me remove it here. Put it here. And then you can uh, increase the size. So let's make just make it gigantic, just for the sake of this video. Okay, boom. Accept. Hit yes. And you notice it's not on the back side. But what's cool is it has a threshold here, which if you max it out, and let's say you have it on clothing, it'll go and it'll repeat the pattern on the back side. And I think that's really cool because let's say you want it mirrored and then you can combine it and really go nuts with patterns and stuff to really make something of your own this is really ingenious way of how he's done this so i'm very impressed with how this works so we're going to delete that we're not going to have tattoos and you can go into a little more depth in here when you get in the tire now the way you apply all the creation parts was a little confusing at first but once you get it it's you'll be off to the races right all right so first you got arms and hands, facial hair, which I did, you saw in the last video, full body, which is like full body gear. And then you just go down here and you select. So just again, you pick a category, you go down and it changes it. Wait, can you combine hair? You can combine hairstyles. That is awesome. Because what you can do then, let's say you don't want to be bald, but you want the mohawk, kind of like my Streiser character, you can come down here. I wonder if there's a buzz cut. There we go. That is so cool. I didn't even think about that. You can combine hairstyles. That is awesome. So there we go. That's that's what I wanted right there. Oh, that's cool too because it looks more like... You know what? I'm going to do that one. That's cool. Alright, and then you could do the color. So we're going to make that part black match the beard 
And I just think that looks really cool because it makes it look like I got two-toned hair. So that's awesome. And then what's really cool about that is you could probably put multiple mohawks, right? And since you can adjust the size and scale, you could have it be a multicolored mohawk. In fact, I'm going to try that real quick. Okay, so that's good. Let's add another mohawk. Where is it? Where is it? Medium mohawk. Here we go. Now you won't be able to see it, but maybe. Let's see here. Texture, color. And make it bright orange if possible. And you're not going to be able to see it yet. But then we go to smoothness, volume, and then width down at the bottom. And you notice it takes up the whole thing. So if I were to shrink down the blue a little bit, you could have multicolored hairstyles. That is awesome. All right, so we're going to delete that for now. I'll mess around with that later. But you see what I'm saying? You could really, you could probably combine like 10 hairstyles. Who knows? I don't know what the limit of the layer is, but that is an ingenious idea. So that's really cool. Okay, next. So we got to get some clothes on this guy, full body clothes, or you can have a, a top leggings stuff like that it's all separated here then you got your your textures which is really cool and you can change the color of the textures so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go full body we're gonna do we're gonna do a singlet I think that's good that'll be cool because Streiser he doesn't really need a full body thing and what's really cool about this let me get to the right here color all black because then you add the paint tools down here another thing I noticed is that you can oh cool you increase the size of the suspenders that's awesome I, kinda, I really like that that's that's cool expand you can make it a little poofy if you want it to not be skin tight looking so that's cool smoothness you can make it really shiny like it's plastic like an action figure or dull, which you saw before. Now here's the tricky part. I'm trying to make patterns and make a cool original design. I, I hope that he adds a image creator or image uploader. I mean, that's a slippery slope, but you know, it's so hard to get that to work because if you play online and let's say they have bad things on there, yeah, it's not gonna go well for him. So anyway, so I am going to try to make something cool. My colors are orange and blue. Where's that? They had a cool Illuminati thing on here. Which I was laughing at because, uh, well, inside joke. <laughs> now where did that go? That was here. Oh, there it is. Okay. The Illuminati. <laughs> And it's really, I really like this design because it, you can like flip it and really turn it into something cool. Like it just covers the whole base and it's a quick, like, oh cool, yeah, you make a pattern for real fast. Now see, I don't want it to move. And as you notice, it's only on the front side of it. So you're like, crap, I'm going to do it again. Not necessarily. So you do the threshold here and it should have gone all the way to the back. I wonder why it didn't do that. Hmm. We'll have to make another one, but very easy. Okay, so we'll keep it like that. We'll go to color. For this, let's do. I'm gonna do blue on this one. Yeah, dark blue. Oh crap! Wrong button. Ugh. We'll have some orange in there. That's really cool looking. Okay. And then you can go add stamp and it automatically does the exact same one you just did again in the same size, but not the same position. Alright, so if you noticed. Alrighty then, here we go. Can really just have fun with this. I'm I've already spent more time in this character creation tool than I did in AW Fight Forever, if that tells you anything. And this <laughs> this game's only been out for like two days so all right so good it's all locked in and then I decrease the threshold just a little bit so it's not overlapping 
not too much anyway. And see, that's so cool. These super talented creators th that are very meticulous could get like, they could probably make anybody with this thing, you know, given time and critiquing. Especially if they get image uploaders. And he, and if he enables, I mean, the morphing is really good right now, but if he adds just a little touches to the face, you could get some really cool, uh, <laughs> like, custom wrestlers from this. All right, so that's good. I'm liking how it's turning out so far. All right, now, we're going to do another one, and we're going to try to add some orange in here. Let's change the color first so I know what the heck I'm looking at here. And I really like that bright bright orange yeah okay and now we're gonna have to position it here shrink it down a little bit and you don't have like I don't have to use the same images and stuff or same stamps but I'm just doing this for the sake of the video because by the time I'm done making a character I mean we'd be here all day because uh, yeah I like making characters we're already at 10 minutes and I barely scratched the surface. See now, see, I think that looks pretty cool because it kind of blends together pretty well. It's just so so simple. I forgot to lock it down though. There we go. Nice. See, that turned out pretty good. Nice. Cool. And then the threshold. I don't know if it'll go to the back. Yeah, for some reason on this single, it doesn't go past. The design mark okay but there's a there's a full body suit if you have that on and you use the the I don't, why does it say face threshold anyway uh, it'll go to the backside too and copy it so that's pretty cool all right so that's good now we'll do it again and we'll move it to the back side Yeah, I might just leave it like that and make it smell. Hmm, let's see here. Oh, I like how that looks. That's cool. Extend it out a little bit. I really dig it. I'm really digging the orange. I think it looks cool. Okay, I'm going to have to rotate in to get the proper positioning. Oh, wait a minute. You can rotate them while you're in here. There we go. Getting the controls down is what's taken. It, it makes it uh, challenging, but once you get it down, you can really, it's a little crooked, let's see here, uh, oh, there we go, maybe zoom in a little bit, ah, yeah, okay, that helped, okay, can't rotate him a little bit, kind of like how this is turning out, trying to get it at the perfect spot, you know, all right, and then let's rotate it, it's a little off, but I, th I would say it's close enough. And I think that looks really cool. If I wanted to, I could add little ones to the sides, which in fact, I might do that real quick. Turn that off so you can actually maneuver it. Again, you, I could have used any other design I want. Okay, I'm just sticking with this one for the sake of this. See, look at that, now it hides that, which is really cool. And it really brings out the blue. And I'm like I said, I'm just messing around right now. So, all right, now can you do the threshold here? Hold the position. Man, that's a bummer. Oh wait, depth. That's weird. Ah, oh, cool. And you can make it so if you don't want it, the whole thing. Nice. Okay. Nice. That's really cool. I'm liking how it turns out so far. <laughs> That's cool. All right, all right. Keep the threshold. Keep the depth. Position. No, how did I do the other one? I like went like this. I like how it keeps the same size, so it makes it really. I don't want to say easy, but easier. It's getting that same spot and positioning is always tough in these I could do the flip thing oh wait no that I don't need to do that okay here look at that that looks awesome all right now we're done with the suit for now oh, I got some overlapping over there 
Hmm. Wonder which one is that. I'll fix that later. But yeah, you get a general idea of how to use stamps. And I should just keep adding them just to see how many there are. And then if you want them all the same color, you could do recolor all. So that's really cool. I like that. Now I wanted to do face paint. Let's see here. New slot, facial hair, full body hair, head, ear project protectors, luchador mask, medical mask, Santa hat, none. I think you have to add... Oops. Let's just do boots. Belt. That's cool. Weight belt. I wonder if you increase the volume of that so it's not sticking through your... Ah, yeah. See? And that's part of what I was talking about in the Sam Vellelli interview. Is even just being able to adjust the size of certain objects. Because sometimes like that you're gonna get clipping unless it, he has it built to where it does it automatically the fact that this game allows you to change it is awesome alright so for the color I wanna do orange again but in that same orange that's pretty cool <laughs> I wish I should just do black Black's fine. Okay. Now I should, oh, buckle color. Wow, you can do the buckle too? That is cool. So if you wanted to have like a blue buckle. I like it. Nice. Okay, cool. So there's a belt. Then we'll get some shoes on them. Legs and feet. Oops. Legs and feet. There we go. Belt. Boots. Knee pads. Oh, cool. You can get knee pads in there. Leggings. Pants. Okay, so we need boots. You have one boot. That's funny. Flat. Denim. Okay, so there's that. There for the boots. I just have black boots for now. I hope he adds in laces later on. Because that'd be really cool. Just to add, you know, have something on there. But maybe that's what the stamps are for. Oh, nice. Could just do this. <laughs> Whoop. Wonder. It's huh. alright. Wonder why my feet look so weird. Look like I got like duck feet. I'm gonna have to go fix that too. Alright, so that's good. One more stamp. Change the color. that blue I've been using. The one thing I would like to see is like previous colors used. That would be really really helpful for making characters and stuff like that. Alright so let's see. Shrink it down. Probably flip it. Nice. You see? That doesn't look too bad. I wonder why it's blocked. Yeah, it looks cool. And anyway, like I said, I'm just messing around with this, just to try to show you how this works. So now we gotta go fix his feet real quick. Boots. Uh, body. Uh, let's see your feet size. There we go. Feet length. There we go. That was it. Feet length. That was weird. <laughs> There you go, much better. Okay, yeah, because I was like, I got like duck feet. It's weird. Perfect. Okay. I like it. It looks cool. Now we just got to get some face paint on them and some designs on those gloves. Well, I might leave the gloves alone, actually. I might just brighten them up a little bit. I'm really liking this so far. Strikes have turned out pretty good. All right, so face paint, and then we'll end the video. Face. Yeah, I didn't really adjust the face at all, did I? Where's the eyes? Nice. 
Okay, ears, fine, I don't care about the ears, mouth, arms, look, okay. Skin, here we go, paint, add layer, position. There we go. Forgot you could zoom in with the joystick. Make it a lot easier on myself. Looks pretty cool, actually. Nice. Alright, so that's good for me. Just gonna decrease the threshold here a little bit. There we go, so it's not going all the way back. Cool. Next. Probably add. Oh, I could add that as a background. That'd be cool. So you got this, but then for like I said, for some reason it always starts on your on your your nuts. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna make that one black. Go back, I'll move that up. See, so you're starting to get that mask thing down. That's pretty cool. I'm going to change this one. I'm going to try to do something different with this. Let's see. Actually, yeah, there we go. That looks cool. actually make a mask design here. I wonder hmm let's try something different. Aha, there we go. Try to make the eyes all black. That way it looks better. Oh crap, there we go. <laughs> ah, yes. Now if you add something to it, it'll look much, much better. Cool. For some reason, his nose is covered. There we go. Much better. It's funny that it's the way you get it on here. There we go. I think that's good. All right, now we got to add on more stuff. You see how it works? I think this is a pretty cool way to do it. Just needs a little minor touches to make it, uh, I don't know, st stay better or something. It's hard to hard to explain. You have so much control as it is, like the threshold and everything. It's just, oh yeah, I've been up since midnight for my job. Here, here we go. Face threshold lower just a tad. Then it screws up that side. You know what? Screw it. We're just going to leave it like that. Yeah. There we go. Cool. All right. One more. Got to figure out what to put over the top of it. Colorize. Got to make it blue so I can see it. Now, what should I put over it? <sighs> So many options. So many options. <laughs> Let's try this one once again. I think that looks pretty cool. 
I like it. Yeah, looks cool. And then I'll add some orange up there. And we're good to go. Uh, add stamp. Music's probably gonna. He's got some pretty cool music tracks in here. I don't know if there's an option to change the background music, but that'd be really sweet if they, if you enabled that. Probably gonna stick this behind, maybe. Yeah. fact got one more thing to do <laughs> let's cover that forehead up so the design shows a lot better match that perfect Move it up. Ha! Look at that. There we go. Makeshift mask for now until I really get into it and spend hours making a character. Now, I just spent 30 minutes and I was able to come up with this. I think this character creation is awesome. So I'm going to keep messing around with it and see what I can come up with. Thank you for watching, and stay frosty.